Welcome gamers, Hazardor here, and today it's time to review the PlayStation 4 exclusive Neo. Now to pretty much sum this game up in a few words, it would be that it's pretty much perfect. I'm not even exaggerating. But is this game a Dark Souls clone? Not at all. It's similar in lots of ways that make it similar to a Souls game, but it's very different in lots of different aspects. The first thing is that you have different stances in combat. For example, you can do high stance, where you do a lot of damage, but you, um, your stamina depletes very quickly mid stance where you can block more efficiently and it's sort of like a medium range of attacks and then you have the low stance which is very quick attacks that take down little stamina but of course do hardly any damage. It really does mix up the gameplay and every time you go into a fight you have to think what stance you want to use. The game has also got a massive emphasis on the stamina bar. I'd even say that the stamina bar is even more important than the health bar. If you have no stamina you're going to have no health in a few seconds. You have to maintain this stamina bar as high as possible. And it's also sort of a mini game in Neo, like Gears of War Active Reloads, where every time you use some stamina, you can then press R1 at a specific time to get all that stamina back. And I thought that wouldn't work at the start of the game, it'd get a bit annoying keeping your eye on a stamina bar, but that worked so well. And that's one of the best things about the game, is maintaining your stamina bar to the highest level possible. The game's not like Dark Souls with an open world setting at all, it's a map with separate levels, and each level of course is very different with different environments, different bosses, different levels of difficulty and stuff like this. Again, I thought this wouldn't work because the open world system is what made the Dark Souls game so special, but in Neo, I think the levels separately work very, very well. The environments themselves are very vibrant. And it's not like Dark Souls 2, where certain areas of the map are just empty space, really bland walls and environments and stuff like this. It's not like that at all. It's a very beautiful game to look at, and especially some environments are better than others of course, but overall, I think the game's amazing. The weapons as well have a lot of variety, you have dual wield swords, hammers, axes, spears, swords, you have guns, you have bows, you have absolutely anything and so much at your disposal that your gameplay can't get stale. Also, don't expect to finish this game very quickly, there's at least 80 hours of gameplay in Neo, so you definitely won't be disappointed. Moving on to the bosses, and these are pretty special, but I'm going to make the comparison again, they're not as special as Dark Souls bosses, some of them are better than others, and some of them are absolutely brutal. The first boss fight took me a while to do, and was very difficult, but it was nothing like the other boss I faced, I can't remember what her name is, but I'll have gameplay on screen right now, it took me, and I'm not even exaggerating, 3 plus hours to defeat this boss. And you could just say, get good in the comments below, but I've completed Bloodborne three times, I've completed every Dark Souls game, I'm not like a newcomer to this series or anything like that, it was just this boss was absolutely brutal. And at the end of it, it felt so rewarding. And that's one of the best things about this game and where it excels, is if you try again and again and again, practice is rewarded with a lot of satisfaction. Boss variety as well, I have no problem with that at all, they're very different from each other and some of the music in these boss battles just gives you goosebumps. It really does set you up for an amazing battle with this absolute monstrosity of a creature. In the Souls series, we did have lots of lore related to the game and stuff like this, but the story was never like a clear line of what was what. And that frustrated a lot of people, but some people absolutely loved it, because you could make your own story, but honestly, I prefer the way Neo does its storytelling. It's much more clear in telling you what's happening, who are you, who's this, who's that, what's going on, what's your goal, and all these things like that. It feels like you're actually trying to achieve something, unlike in Dark Souls, where you're just running around like a headless chicken. As you go through this game, you progress and you level up. And this process of progression is absolutely amazing. Leveling up your weapons, buying new skills for your weapons so you can do different combos and stuff like this, it's all really good and it's definitely one of the best things about the game is seeing you when you were level 1 compared to like level 40 or whatever level you are now. You've absolutely transformed your character visually with armour and with weapons and of course with the amount of combos you've acquired along the way. Now despite what I've said about the game so far, there are a few negatives that I'd like to mention. The first thing is the online mode. I was so disappointed at this because let's be honest, the online Neo is pretty poor. The co-op is very disappointing because you can only summon people who have defeated a specific boss. And when co-oping with someone, the boss has become almost laughably easy. Because these people have already fought this boss and know how to defeat it. There's no invading like in Dark Souls as well, like somebody joins your game and tries to kill you. You can kill other people's corpses and ghosts but they're controlled by NPCs not real life people and I found that very disappointing. I'd have 
have loved to be invaded by someone like an online player in Neo, it would have been so fun to see what their gameplay style is compared to mine and how I fare up against them. The graphics as well aren't outstanding or massively jaw dropping or anything like that. The frame rate as well does struggle to maintain itself sometimes, but these are not massive issues. I'm not going to give them massive negatives for these things that are very, very minor. And another thing that of course is a very minor issue as well is that a lot of the time I found the game to be very easy when confronting normal enemies. I would say about 90% of confrontations on this game are one-on-one -on -one encounters and you could say that is good because it makes it more strategic or something like that but honestly it was way too easy but overall as a verdict Neo is absolutely outstanding one of the best games of 2017 so far and it will take a lot to top this game I'd say Neo gets a 9.5 out of 10 almost perfect but a few of the negatives I mentioned were consistent enough to hold it down a little bit but there's no doubt about it Neo is something special but anyway guys Thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe for more.